So, welcome back to Junkyard Truck. You're probably really confused right now. Komodo, why does this look like the stock truck? Well, there's been an update, and uh, unfortunately, that update has actually uh, destroyed my last save file. Now, that is actually very okay, because the dev is upgrading the game, and there's definitely a lot of uh, new cool things that have happened with it. And there was a warning that uh, there was a potential that the save was going to be kind of reset once. So the truck's repaired once again to stock. I don't know if we're going to do the turbo upgrade. We might just go straight for the V8 because I did uh, do some grinding. I do have the block once again, and we can just stick it on the, uh, the hoist over here. And yeah, we're ready to start building. So we're basically back down to square one where we were, minus the turbo. But today, I do actually want to go to the mines uh, because I don't have to have like a really upgraded truck to go do that. And somebody said I missed a very, very obvious item on the screen last uh, video that I don't know how I missed it. But we're going to go show that to you guys too. So if you guys are excited once again for the return of Junkyard Truck. Also, we need to paint this real quick. I got to at least do that. Let's go with a green today. Uh, yeah, hit that thumbs up button. Also, one last thing we're gonna do. There is a massive jump that I'm gonna save the game before we do it that I think that we're gonna fly probably halfway across the world and it's gonna be amazing. I tell you, the one thing I am gonna miss, uh, those tires. I mean, I can go get another set of tires. Uh, but yeah, as far as updates to the game, uh, there are change logs in the main menu. One thing I did notice, the building itself is a lot smoother. Oh, I missed that turbo sound already. Yeah, the uh, actual putting together of parts, sometimes it seems like it was a little off with the uh, screwing in bolts, but it does seem a lot better. I'm assuming that's something that's been addressed. Ho oh, ho ho. Also, the, uh, the junk is a lot more random now. We are sticking this back there. There we go, we're already making money. Everything's gonna be a-okay. Uh, we're definitely gonna go buy some of the parts for the V8 uh, today. All right, the one thing I didn't think about, I wonder how bad this road is to get to the mine. Uh, hopefully it's not too bad. Oh, here we go. We took the, the wrong turn again. This is where we ended up last time. So I'm hoping the item is still here in the grass. Like I really had to double take what was happening. Oh, we're actually running hot right now. Uh oh. Uh, is something not screwed in right? Is there a reason we're running so hot so quick? I didn't have issues like this last time we put this together. Uh, we'll let her cool down. She'll be fine. Wait, is that... That oil coming from here. Hello, is there oil in here? Is there water in the radiator? I might should have topped those off. He's overheating for a reason, but yeah, check this out. There's a, uh, there's a nuke. <gasps> Wait, Wait. why can I, do I click this? Why can I interact with this? Do I dare click the button? All right, here we go. Oh, wait, why is it, can I not interact with it? Why is it labeled? Like, is anything else labeled? Like, that's not labeled. These are not labeled. Why is the nuclear bomb labeled? Uh, I can't pick it up. Can I hit it with the truck? Okay, truck's definitely cooled down. Yeah, I need to run to the store and see if I can get some fluids. Oh, I think we ran into it. Well, it didn't explode, so we have that going for us. All right, well, let's close this up. Let's get into town real quick. Uh, before we go to the mine shaft, because I feel like it would probably be in our best interest to go top up on fluids. If that is truly the problem, I might have to take the valve cover back off and look at the, uh, the camshaft gear that I put in there. Maybe there's a new, uh, thing that's broken on this car now since the update. There's a potential that's a thing too, because I could have swore I repaired it the same way I did the first time. Okay, we got some motor- oh, just ran right into their door. I got some motor oil here. Uh... Let's see if we can get this in. Oh, I heard the noise there for a second. So honestly, I haven't gotten the uh, the glugging noise for the coolant. So it was a little low on oil, but I don't know if that's what would have overheated this thing. Maybe the radiator's bad. The fan's on. I got that attached. The belts are on. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, we might have an overheating vehicle. Let's keep the oil uh, with us. We might need that. Okay, can confirmed. I've had it uh, gassed up for a while. I do think now it was actually just maybe low on oil. Uh, it doesn't seem to be overheating here. All right, we got to get beyond this gate, which I think maybe we can go like this. There we go. Not gonna lie, I miss my turbo right now, but I mean, V8 build. Keep that in mind, Komodo. Uh, you don't need the turbo yet. You want the big boy V8. And I think the mine shaft back here is going to help us get it. 
Which, by the way, we're basically here. Uh, we'll park it over here. Uh, I know I might need to haul some stuff out if we actually do this right. All right, here we go. Pick X time. We got it. Yay. So where's the opening? Wait, is this... Is this stuff... Wait, is this ore right here? Can I pick this? Oh. Wait, did that work? Oh, I keep hitting it. It's making a noise. Oh, there it goes. You know, I kind of figured we were actually going into a mine shaft. All right, so I have an iron ore. Uh, we can sell this. I don't know how much this stuff's worth. We could sell it over there where we uh, sell uh, the wood. Uh, there's like a another container. Yeah, I don't think there's actually an inside of this. It definitely goes up, though. Oh, there's some sketchy stuff here. All right, more iron ore right here. Okay, that's just going to roll down to the bottom of the hill. Uh, I hope there isn't fall damage because I might die today. I'm not sure I can mine that. Yeah, this game is just so awesome once you think about it. Like, between the car building, all the different little jobs you can do, like, uh, definitely one of the most unique car, like, survival games ever. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just take all this stuff off, sell it, and make the money for it, take the junk off, and then we need to get moving because we gotta start buying some parts. Alrighty, yo, here we are at the, uh, the shop here. We sold off everything. I actually found more junk on the way over to the junkyard. Uh, so we're all squared up there, so I guess it's time to start just buying parts here. So I definitely need this. I need basically all of these. I think this is kind of, I don't want to say it's an order, but like this shelf is what I need. Uh, you got V8 pistons, there's a timing chain. Uh, looks like all your timing gears. I'm assuming there's another camshaft. Okay, here's the, the crankshaft here. There's the camshaft. You needed a gear for this, or can we strip some of the parts out of the other side? I don't even begin to know how to, like, do this, but I'm gonna buy all this. Holy man, I am about broke here. Uh, I just bought all the pistons. Uh, yeah, I haven't gotten... Uh, maybe I've gotten about half of the stuff that I need. But I need probably at least another, I would say, $1,500, uh, to finish this off. Uh, so we're gonna go home and attempt to, like, put these parts together. I don't know what I'm doing. There is a manual uh, that I might have to refer to to attempt to get all this together. Uh, but this is going to be a job and a half. All right. Well, we have like, I would say three quarters of an engine back here. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, what have I got myself into? This is fine. This is going to work out good. Komodo has always had luck building stuff in games. All right. Hold on, little buddy. We're going back to the garage and we're going to start some sort of a uh, build here. Oh, buddy. All right, well, let's open that up. And yeah, this is definitely going to be a thing. All right, we just want to place this over here. What is this back here? Is this something I... Oh, it's a release. Okay, so the engine is out. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's just back this bad boy into the garage here. We'll unload all the parts. And we will begin the process of uh, piecing this together. Okay, where do we even begin here? I mean, we could... Uh, refer to our trusty owner's manual here as far as engine assembly. Uh, this is... Okay, that's engine removal. We'll need that probably next time. So, assembly. Looks like we want the crankshaft in the bottom. And then we'll put the pistons in. This is not for the this V8, though. But I'm assuming we can roughly kind of follow the same thing. We don't have a V8 engine assembly, do we? I don't think so. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, it's gonna roughly be the same thing. I'm... I think, maybe. All right, well, here's the crankshaft. So I think I could turn over this engine block. Can I just shove it up? Oh, there it goes. All right, so crankshaft is in. We want to move to... Let's go ahead and get the pistons. This is piston number one. Uh, we'll put that into there. I mean, maybe this actually isn't going to be as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's also a question of what are the consequences if I screw this up? Does it explode like my summer car style? This is number two. Number two would be on this side. These are actually numbered, uh, which is a thing. I mean, I'm assuming I have to have these in the right spot. Piston number seven will be on this side right here. Okay, I need one more piston here. I know you're back here. So oh, jeez. Okay, let's not destroy this. Okay, here's piston number five. And you are going to go uh, there. Okay, so pistons are in. Let's go with... Can I put the camshaft in at the top here, or...? Wait, might need to actually go with the heads next. Uh, so there's engine head right. Uh, is this? Oh, okay. So that goes on there. All right. This is a thing. Uh, we're making progress. All right. Let's go engine head left. Intake manifold. Uh, V8 distributor. Uh, we should maybe try that 
Cam Wait, where'd the camshaft go? Uh-oh. Did I drop it? Well, as soon as I find it, the manifold, this will set like in here. Oh, I guess that already goes in there. So I believe the carburetor goes on the top there. Uh, maybe the camshaft actually slides in maybe in here. Oh, there it is. Okay, so camshaft's there. So the gears are going to go into there. See, I think I know what I'm doing. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing at all, but I'm doing stuff. I should probably be screwing stuff in, shouldn't I? There, let's go ahead and start to tighten some of this down real quick. That way it doesn't fall apart. Sure, everything's going to go fine here. Okay, there's another bolt there. There's probably bolts on the bottom that I haven't gotten to. Okay, camshafts in. I mean... This is a thing. We're still going to have to rip out the uh, the transmission. I think you have to have a different like transfer case on here. So can the valve covers go on now? I think they can. So let's go valve cover here. And then I got another valve cover right here. Not going to lie. This is pretty darn cool. Like I am uh, thoroughly enjoying what I'm doing here. Okay. So here comes the pulley. This actually might set home. We're missing a big piece here. Uh, let's see. Good question. I could put the exhaust manifolds on. Actually, this one goes on this side, I believe. So yeah, those will bolt on to the side. I'm missing something here in the front. Is the water pump maybe? Oh yeah, it was definitely water pump. Okay, so we got that. Uh, I thought I got the exhaust manifold. Oh, there it is. I was about to say, I could have swore I grabbed the one for the other side. Uh, let's go and put that on. All right, let's bolt these together and then I can start putting on like the uh, the pulleys and stuff. Okay, how do we turn this? Oh, here we go. All right, so yeah, there's a whole nother like set of bolts and stuff that haven't been bolted down here. Like basically the bottom of the uh, like the pistons and stuff. I uh, gotta lock those in place. Nice. All right, so we got that. Uh, let's go crankshaft pulley. I think I need a new set of belts. Actually, I think we're missing one more thing here. Where does the distributor go? Then it go up here towards the top. It's a good question. I almost need to see this thing like put together to be able to figure out what I'm doing here. Air filter, we'll stick that to the side. I don't think we're ready for that. There's a fuel pump here. Uh, I'm sure this is gonna strap onto the front again or front somewhere. I wonder if there's another manual out in the world uh, for this. And here's the oil filter, which I don't think we're ready for that either. I mean, to be honest with you, we've already made a absolute ton of progress on this thing. And I am, uh, I'm super excited for this. So hopefully next episode, I got to look at a couple things. Uh, we can figure out the rest of this build here, but I promised you guys a little bit of a jump and you know what? I'm going to deliver on said jump. So let's do this. All right. So we're set up, ready to go. The jumps at the end of this road. Uh, there's a cargo container aim perfectly up. So, oh yeah, we got this. Uh, it'd be nice to have the uh, turbo here, but, you know, maybe eventually we get to do this with the V8. There's the jump. Oh, buddy. Here we go. Oh! Um, okay. That did not go the way I thought it was going to go. That thing looks like a perfect ramp. Is there something in here at least? No. Uh, what's the front of the truck look like? You know, I didn't sustain damage there. Like, seriously, like, it looks like you jump this and you fly and land in the riverbed or something. Why is that not a thing? I don't know. 